All right, so Midnight Fight Express is out now on Game Pass, and I figured I'd check this out. I did play it back when uh, the Steam Next Fest was going on, and I had a good time with it. I actually did a few episodes, but now the full game is here, and I think it's time that we get started. So let's go in normal difficulty, and we'll see how this is. I am playing it through PC Game Pass, by the way. Uh, which was really surprising because I didn't know if it was going to be coming to that or not. Act 1, it's no use going back to yesterday because I was a different person and I missed the rest. So, babyface, right? I'm just going to call you that since our records don't show anything else. Kind of like you're a ghost, we don't like ghosts. They have a tendency to cause trouble and disappear. Classic ghost. Now listen up, you can claim innocence, no memory from before the attack began. You say you're just trying to help, but we know that isn't true. You're part of this whole thing and the attack on the city, mobilizing the gangs, all of it. What we don't know is why. If we figure out why, we figure out how and if we can stop the how. And we can stop the how. Come on, buddy, tell us why. Help us save the city and maybe you won't get the death penalty. Maybe. Start at the top. Retrace your steps. Everything you can remember might help you figure out exactly who you are. Don't hold back or else we certainly won't. Now, what's this about a talking drone? Yeah, I kind of remember that part too during the, uh, the demo that I was playing. So it seems like the first probably three missions, I'm not going to say exactly what happens because I, I technically already played this. I uh, And I kind of, that, that was pretty much the same conversation, but that's okay. Since it is the full game and it is part one for the full game, we might as well just take our time. So, let's see what we got here. Seems like the controls are just about the same too. It's chaos, utter relentless chaos. A city-wide takeover per uh, perpetrated by power-hungry lowlifes. Do not, I repeat, do not go to the civilian evacuation sites. They're honeypots for vulnerable and panicked. They don't want anyone leaving the city. These criminals everywhere, and I i mean everywhere. Even, oh no, they're here, they're in the building. To anyone out there still alive and watching, trust nobody, save yourselves. Remember this programming was made possible by generous, caring viewers like you. Interesting. Hey babyface, yeah you, let me out of here. Too slow, friend. No time to waste. Wow, this is your place. No cult of personality concerns here. It really drained th that noggin of yours, huh? We can fix that. But first, don't you think I need to tell our beautiful city of tomorrow's gone to all sorts of hell? Could you really use a little saving? So here's the deal. You're a sleeper agent, a brutal mercenary, and a trance waiting for your drone and shining armor like yours truly to wake up from this dry little dream. I only ask an itsy bitsy favor for the return. Help me save the city and all the good-hearted smucks in it. Uh, before the sun up or the crooks will get full control. Do that and get your real life back and the city sees a brighter, brighter tomorrow after all. Now let's get moving. Oh my gosh. Ah, so much reading. I mean, it's really not that bad, but I do think if they got voice actors, this part, this beginning would at least be a lot better. I almost forgot reactivate. Applying a little noise cream should warm up those muscles right up. At least they got music, though, I guess. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, now we're in it. Looking good, friend. Hey, what's going on, boys? It's our first batch of bozos. Out hunting civilians should be no pro trouble for you. Introducing bozos. It's all coming back. Indeed, it is. It's almost as if I've been here before. Almost. <laughs> Remember to keep an eye on your health. On lower difficulties, health is partially regenerated over time. No, 
I never got around to playing that Sifu game. If it ever comes to, uh, to Steam, I will absolutely check it out. Jeez, I, I've already turned down the, the audio and it's <laughs> it's still so loud. I turned it down to literally 40% and even the music's at 50. These punches are just real loud. Okay, come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> I just missed it. Alright, try again. Let's see if I can get the uh, the special attack. I guess I'm doing it too late. So when they highlight... There we go. Alright, let me through. What we got here, boys? Just one of those pathetic uh, thinking about there. Okay, it's time to join them. The rage meter will build up when you engage in combat. This game pretty much is a melee version of John Wick. To be honest, I actually had a lot of fun with that John Wick Hex uh, game when that originally released a while ago, maybe a year or two ago. When rage is full, rage mode will activate automatically for a short period of time during combat. <laughs> Some enemies are stronger than others and require you to break their defense stance in order to make them vulnerable to attacks. Nice. Jesus, there's literally blood everywhere. I don't remember this much blood in the... the beta for the demo nice okay that works left alt to pick up or drop weapons interesting melee weapons have limited durability Don't come any closer. Good thing we can throw weapons. While holding a weapon, hold and aim with right mouse button and then throw it to nearby standing enemies. <laughs> Throwing weapons at enemies will temporarily stun them and break their defense. All right, let's keep moving. Focus will allow you to scan the environment and enemies around you. Fill up the focus bar by landing successful attacks on enemies. Nice. Snap a photo in photo mode. Okay. Exit photo mode. So he wasn't kidding about a talking drone because this thing is literally coming in here and saving us. Pick up environment. Oh, well, I think we were supposed to do that before, but that's okay. Take that. Not bad. Ooh, we got some guns. Pick that up. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. 
Do not press R. R apparently resets your level. Okay. And there's the first mission done, I guess. This is your hideout. It's a place where you can customize your character between levels, unlock new skills, and much more. This is the level panel. Yeah, I think the first three levels were in the demo when I played it. Yeah, this is all kind of stuff I remember too. Cool. This is what I was kind of excited for. So like it tells you the enemies in each level, uh, the factory, your progress for each one. Uh, here's your skills. So now we're technically in the, the actual game. Um, like where it's, uh, this is where it's going to be selecting a mission and then going from there. So, uh, 850 bucks. What the heck? There is a little bit of customization too, which is cool. Uh, you also can play as like, you can use a skin of some of the characters that you fight or find, which is nice too. Body, head tattoos. Or so. Now some of this stuff is really expensive. Okay, so they really added a lot of stuff here. That's cool. Before, not nearly. Uh, it was probably like maybe five or ten items, for clothing wise. But yeah, there's a lot more now. At least that's what I remember. So yeah, it looks like there's a whole lot more options. There's also more tattoos, which is cool to see too. Always love tattoos in games. All right, and we have one ability, uh, chain finishers. After two or more light attacks, press and hold the finisher button to create powerful endings series of hits. Yes, let's get that. Okay, let's go straight into the next level then. Yeah, unfortunately, I wish this game really had voice acting. Because it's not like there's a lot of lines of dialogue, but uh, it definitely would, would enhance the game. And I don't know what it is with these audio volumes, but holy crap. I literally turned it down and I can see it's just as loud as I am. Little Tony. Little Tony is the meathead who leads the bozos. Alright, so we're going to meet up with Little Tony. Now, it doesn't really tell you when you can do the takedown. But I've just been pressing and holding E after a few hits. And it works. <laughs> So that's kind of cool. There we go. Better be there ASAP. All right, let's do it. My little Tony, they ain't got much longer. Oh no, oh, okay. I forgot that people can like explode. Which is not really something you'd expect, but it happens. Bulky bozos. Press the appropriate buttons. Oh no. All right, let's get it. I think there's an ability that opens up the uh, the attacks a little bit more for timing wise.
There it is. Let's get him. Level complete. Complete the factory mission. Okay. Not bad. We got an A. Okay. Yeah, I think you have to like actually kind of, if you want to get the most of the points for these missions, I think you got to kind of speed run it. Uh, Cause otherwise like, yeah, the time bonus is a big thing. It looks like. And then this is really cool. At the end of the missions, it allows, it asks you if you would like to save a GIF. I think that's really neat of a, a feature. Okay. Let's uh let's see what we got here. So grapple, parry encounter. Use the parry to block enemy encounters. Uh, you can retaliate using a counter. Fighter, what's this one do? Environmental finisher when an enemy is pressed against the environment, an automatic finisher would trigger. Ooh. That one's cool. I'm gonna take the parry for now. Fighter after a single uh, or light series of attacks. Press the heavy attack to perform a more powerful combo. Grapple. Press F to grapple onto enemies. Okay. Appearance. Did we get anything new for... Yeah, it looks like now we have some more money. So we could change up the look of us. Uh, maybe the concierge. <laughs> that one's kind of cool. I would want to throw on, yeah, this roll up was like one of the only options in the beta or the demo. I keep saying beta, even though it was technically a demo body. I'm going to wait. I'm just going to save some, some cash still, but I think now we have some d different skins to equip too. Yeah. Hey, there's chili blue tea, pistachio hair color. Oh, here we go. Wait, was there a hair option? Or no clothes upper body now it's just skin color hair color we did unlock these skins though so now you could technically go in as these guys <laughs> okay cool all right let's run the next mission let's see how this one is so it looks like there's 40 which is a good amount so you're telling us that a talking drone gets you delivered in a to box in your apartment and you just go with it. Sounds real cool. Just falling off the bone. Uh, okay, ghost. Yes, I told you that a, uh, a drone just showed up into the room. Little Tony's in here. All right, let's do it. Tone dogs. Get them. Some enemies have in. Uh, okay. I don't know if I can do finisher. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can always do finishers on the big guys, but some of them you can. Or we just stunned him good enough where. That camera angle is not the easiest. Are we going? Oh, up here. Okay. Nice. Space. Okay. We've got some C4. Let's move. Spin the bottle. <laughs> Good timing. Go, go, go. Well, Tony. All right. 
coming for you, little pony. We are coming. My beautiful door. Okay, that's a little unfair with that gun there, Tony. Get over here. Got him. Okay, so you want to know, uh, find and stop him before night's end, boss Lil Tony. Tony's computer might have leads for us. We got leads. Clean up on aisle Tony's office. Reinforcements. Let's get out of here before we roast. True. Jeez. Okay, I was gonna say, can you use the the knife in a takedown? Or it seems like you can. Oh no. that introduced counters like that so cool to see we got more in coming i think i'm just gonna start reading the uh bold stuff the muscle because otherwise it's just like too much dialogue and not enough voice acting <laughs> basically all right here you go guys <laughs> nice There it is. So you're going to love jumping onto the speedy, All right? Go, go, go. Nice. Level complete onto the train. All right, come on. Let's see what we got. Time bonus. Ah, oh, man. C minus. That's not very good. That is not very good. But that's okay. We can continue on. Let's see if we got any new skills. I, I think once you have enough skills, then it probably picks up a bit. Skills and upgrades. Uh, so what's this one? There's that. Knockout counters. Use a parry while holding down block and uh, retaliate using a slow but powerful knockout counter. <laughs> okay. And kick counters. There's a lot of counters. Uh, parry melee weapons attack even one unarmed. Parry melee weapons attacks to fast disarm them and take their weapons. Cool. Uh, finishers on that. Finishers against. I'm gonna do left, right, left, right, left, right, and then maybe this. Yeah, we'll see. Um, maybe if we start getting more points, you need to have at least ten levels passed to unlock this skill. So some of them, you actually have to be further in um, the story or unlocked missions. Okay. Uh, let's see. Specialist get up. Oh, it's not actually not too bad. Can you change the color of the clothing, I wonder? Or is it like whatever you choose is what you got? Uh, unlock this item on level Metro, abandoned Metro. Concierge isn't bad. Specialist, bully. See, I like, I kind of want to see what these look like without any, like, do they have hoodies or what's the case? These, we need more cash. Uh, for right now, we'll keep sticking with what this guy looks like. Maybe, maybe we'll go skins.
Yeah, nice. Let's run it as a guy in a towel. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely leave a like on it. Let me know if you want me to make this a full series. Uh, those likes and uh, things like that really help the video out and uh, lets me know if uh, I should be continuing these. So for now, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.